Is it good? Yeah. Okay. All right. In today's video, you are getting to know my husband. Hi guys, I'm Marina Blackford. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my subscribers. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do. You just hit the button down below then you won't miss a video. I post weekly videos about my life. I am a two-time breast cancer survivor. I am a mom to toddlers and I'm here to help inspire you along this journey. In today's video, I just wanted to spend some time chatting with my husband and letting you guys get to know him because he is in some of the vlog videos that you'll find on my channel. Um, there are family vlogs and some days in the life and um, you just never really get to know him. So let's just, let's get his perspective. Say hi, honey. Hey everyone, my name is Curtis. I'm Marina's husband and uh, I'm excited to uh, chat with you guys about some of the things uh, that Marina's gonna ask me some questions about and I'm kind of excited. I don't know exactly what she's gonna ask me yet, but uh, I'll uh, try to give you some honest answers and some feedback and hopefully uh, it helps out. This is good. I'm excited. So, all right. So he doesn't know anything I'm going to talk about. Um, oh, I can't look. No cheating. Okay, no cheating. I'm not. <laughs> okay. Every time. Every time. This is the joke of my channel. You. All right. So a little introduction. Um, this is Curtis, like he said. Um, I just want to go back to when we met. We met in the summer of 2014 at a country bar and um, we were just both into that at the time. We were, st we're still into that, but we like country music and country dancing. And for those of you that don't know, country dancing exists. That does not mean line dancing. It's couples doing like a country swing dance and it's really fun. So maybe I'll put some pictures here of that. But um, we met doing that and took a couple months before we saw each other again and then it was on we just we started dating so um was it love at first sight honey i think you could define it as that she was looking pretty good and uh so i was in love at first sight i don't know if she was in love with me at first sight but you should have seen her she was looking great you're sweet cut to we were dating a couple months and then um it's early 2015. So I was told I would need a breast biopsy and um, I had that done, had it come back positive. I'd say like just really like three months after dating. Do you remember that? Yeah, it was pretty soon yeah. right after we got together. That was for sure. It felt um, soon. So I remember, I remember the night. I remember going to your house and then going to dinner and telling you. I told him I had breast cancer and like, yeah. Like, how do you feel when someone like tells you they have cancer? Like, is that a weird question? It's like anything that's that big of a deal. You don't really take it all in and right away. Um, it's not happening to you. So I guess it might feel a little different than the person it's affecting, but it's a little shocking and I'm not a doctor. I don't know what the outlook is. I don't know what the diagnosis is. I just know that that C word sucks. Yeah, so I tried to break up with you. Yeah, so she gave me the news and then she told me that it was probably best since we had just started dating that we should probably go our separate ways because she had this fight ahead of her. And in the moment it just didn't feel right. So I tried to tell her that I, would rather kind of see how it goes and that's what we decided to do. I just told him, um, I don't think I can date you and like do this because I have to focus on beating cancer right now. And that was like, that was my priority. Um, and he just said, no, <laughs> no, we're not going to break up because you have cancer. We'll break up for something else if that's the case. Exactly. Um, and I'm stopping you there because that is, I think that is, that was a huge turning point in our relationship and it was key for me and I'll phrase it as this is Curtis is really good at um, just saying probably what I'm thinking and when you've been diagnosed with cancer you're pretty scared you know you don't know what's to come you have a lot of things on your plate and you just flat out said it and you just flat out said if you're afraid of losing your hair and you're afraid of losing your breasts that's on you because I don't care about any of that and so 
the fact that you could dispel my fears like right away, like that's how I knew that we would get through it okay. Just want to tell you that. If you could think of one tip for somebody whose wife has just been diagnosed or husband, like what would you tell them to say? Like what's a good thing to say to someone? The biggest thing I could tell you is if you're having to go through that is just try not to overthink everything. Try to keep it small and in small bites. Like just worry about that day and that time and the next thing and just jump these hurdles one by one. To keep it simple is if you focus on things in the shorter term, it's easier to accomplish those small things where if you're trying to worry about everything, how it's all going to end or what's going to happen in the future, it can become overwhelming. So just be there for your spouse or partner or friend or whoever and and just try not to worry about anything other than what you it's our motto have around control here. of it's our in motto. the short term. One day at a time. One day at a time. It's our motto. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Don't eat an elephant. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, I have had a lot of surgeries. Like a lot, right? A few. I've had a lot of surgeries. Because um, I had breast cancer, so we went through double mastectomy together. Breast reconstruction. Um, a lumpectomy. A staph infection, so like that was a lot of surgeries, um, and then another lumpectomy. Um, my whole point is, you have been to surgery with me a lot. Is there a tip for for going for be, if you're going to surgeries with people? Is there something you would tell them to help with? I mean, if you're talking about just the hospitals and procedures in general, and you're going to be supportive for somebody, is dress warm because. You're probably going to sleep there and it's not going to be like at your house. I just always wore comfy long pants. It might be summertime, but wear long pants, long shirt. That's perfect. And then I think the other thing that you're really good at is um, sometimes you're sitting there pre-surgery or after surgery and they're like, any questions? And I'm always like, oh. like you're really good at like asking questions for me sometimes or like making instructions clear like so she can't swim for how long or something like that well like throughout these things you talk a lot about stuff and certain things come up and then it's hard for her to remember everything in that moment and i'm good at kind of remembering maybe some of the things that she doesn't think of she remembers most everything but then i always remember the weird stuff or like when can she go swimming how long does she need to do this for how long does it take to and yeah. can i lift the children yeah. that kind of thing and then it just two heads are better than one and maybe you, you get the answers that you forgot to ask if you can help you know back up somebody with those those extra little tidbits and oh this is a broad question but i'm just curious if you can answer it how has cancer changed our relationship <sighs> well guys i'll be honest marina is the strongest person I know. She she handled all this with grace and, and strength and she did a great job. So that's not, that made it easy on me. Now, as far as our relationship, when you go through things like this together, you back each other up, you're there for each other through the sad, through the happy, through the pain and through the, honestly, some of the gross stuff. There's things you have to do. It, it just, if you love a person, it's easy. If, if you love them, it's easy. And it, it, it's, it, for me, it was nothing. Um, it was nothing for us to do that. Um, I can't say everybody's journey's gonna be easy because like I said, she's so tough, but so she, because she never really made it out to be this big ordeal, then I never made it to be a big ordeal. And we just kept going through the motions and doing the proper things and, and here we are. And I wrote the question kind of loaded because I felt like when I wrote how has cancer changed our relationship, like, I don't even think, I don't think it's changed our relationship. I think it's like, like we don't know any other way. Does that make sense? And I might not have answered the question properly is, is I don't feel like it changed anything because I loved her and it was just me doing what felt natural. All right, next question. Um, Long hair or short hair? Now, 
I've uh, fortunately got to see Marina through many stages of hair growth from when I met her, her hair was extremely long down the middle of her back and had highlights and whatnot. Then she lost her hair. And then uh, of course we did it all over again. So I've seen her grow her hair back twice and I love it through all the little stages. I, I think that I don't, yeah. I don't think there's a right way to, no, there is a right way to answer that. Any way you want it, honey. I mean, look, her hair is short now and I love it. <laughs> I don't think she I'm teasing. does right now, but I do. I'm teasing. Yeah, I don't love it right now, but it's okay. I'm just thankful it's really growing healthy and that I can wear it short and it's, and I still, I get compliments. So thank you, Annie. Well, at least there's proof it grows back. I'll just answer for him. He tells me all the time. You can leave it short. You can grow it out. Whatever you want to do. I love it. He does like it short though. I think you like it short sometimes. Just like her. Okay. Um, that's my last question. Is that it? Right. No, I have one more. Oh, okay, go ahead. What's your favorite dinosaur? Velociraptor. <laughs> that is his go-to question to break the ice with anybody. So my favorite don dinosaur is, I always feel like I'm saying it wrong. Bronchosaurus? Bron bron Brachiosaurus. It's also Brachiosaurus. Bron it's all with the long neck because it's like a giraffe and it's just peaceful and it eats from tree chops. Okay, um, thank you, honey. I feel like there's more to getting to know you, um, but I feel like we should save that for another video. Like, who is this guy really? Like, who, who is this guy? I'll try to talk more on the videos. I'm normally uh, too busy like hiding in the background, so. I'll, I'll, I'll... I have to film when you're not around a lot. Yeah, I, uh, I have a job and it, uh, it uh, keeps me If you guys away. liked meeting Curtis, please give this video a like. <laughs> if you want to see more of these videos, make sure you subscribe. You can find me on Instagram, at Marina Blackford. And until next time, have a great day. Bye, guys. Bye.